show. I'm Neely Karras from the WUFT Newsroom. For Thursday, October 13th, here's your News in 90. Donald Trump continues his push for votes in Florida, holding two rallies in Lakeland and Ocala yesterday. Trump used the rallies to urge his supporters to register to vote, especially after a federal judge extended Florida registration following Hurricane Matthew. Trump has another rally scheduled Thursday in West Palm Beach before moving on to Ohio. A man set a Golden Corral worker on fire last night. Authorities say a man walked into a crowded Golden Corral restaurant in Jacksonville when he doused a woman employee with a liquid and set her on fire. The woman was flown to a burn unit in Gainesville where her condition is unknown. Jacksonville police say the man and woman do know each other, but the motives for the fire are still under investigation. The Consumer Product Safety Commission issued its second recall of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 smartphone today. Samsung received 96 reports of overheating batteries, 13 reports of burns, and 47 reports of property damage, all associated with the Note 7 phone. The CPSC urges all consumers to power off their phones and return them for a refund. Bob Dylan was named the winner of the 2016 Nobel Prize in Literature today. Dylan is the first musician to receive the prestigious award. The Swedish Academy says the American pop star was recognized for his creation of new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. The Literature Award was the last of the six Nobel Prizes to be announced this year, and they will be handed out in December. That's your News for 90. Thanks for watching.